Hey guys, I'm here with Sana. Hey guys. You guys already know her. Last time we were together, we did the blondies. Sana brought that recipe and I think I've made it, I mean, so many times since then. It's a really good recipe. So if you haven't tried it, we'll put the video in a link below. And then Sana has like a million recipes on her channel as well. So go check those out. But today we're gonna do, it's one of my favorite Swedish candies. What is it called in Swedish? Yulkola. <laughs> It's like Christmas caramel, basically. I love that one. <laughs> but I switch out, instead of using butter and, and heavy cream, I use coconut oil and coconut cream. What you'll need is coconut oil, coconut syrup, coconut cream, coconut sugar, pure vanilla bean, and some toasted hazelnuts. So yeah, this recipe is super simple. It only takes about 20 minutes to make. And we're gonna put everything in the saucepan. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna start by just melting the coconut oil. I'm feeling this is gonna smell really good with everything coconut, coconut milk, coconut sugar. It's almost like a caramel. Yeah, yeah, it's a caramel. But then the hazelnuts just make it so even better on top. So, so in if the you meantime, wanna chop the, the hazelnuts, you can chop the hazelnuts. Yeah. So I like, like to have some whole and some chopped. I like that too. Also, it's better to use like the hazelnuts without skin. So if you buy them with skin, you can just roast them for a couple minutes and then with a towel, rub everything. Um, Rub everything off and the skin will fall off. Now the coconut oil is melted and now I'm gonna put in the rest of the stuff. First we'll do the sugar, coconut cream and coconut syrup. So now we're gonna let all of this uh, boil for 20 minutes. So when you think it's done, then you're gonna put a few drops in a glass of water, take it up with a spoon and see if you can make it into like a little ball, then it's ready. If you cook it for too long, then it's gonna be like a rock. Mm -hmm. And if you cook it too little, then it's gonna be like sauce. Sauce, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is almost ready, but I wanted to ask you, so what are your favorite, if you had to like pick three of your top favorite like candies or sweet treats, what would it be? Number one. Chocolate, for sure. Number two, licorice. Licorice? I love licorice, like Swedish or dark yeah. licorice, but not the American one, because that one is too sweet, but like salty licorice, I absolutely love. Isn't American licorice red? Sometimes, it's really That's strange. so strange. Yeah, or very like sweet, I don't know, I, I just like don't like it. Yeah. Swedish one, salty never like one. the ones. Yeah, the yeah. salty ones. And then I think number three, matcha chocolate. <laughs> Is that cut? Yeah. I don't know, yeah. Probably. And, and out of your things that you like bake? Probably the blondie for sure, nana yeah. bread, and um, I love like crunchy cookies. Mm. You have to give me good recipes. For me, it always changes. Once I'm into something, I'll like make it every every time I bake, I make the same thing for like two months, and then I go off it, and then I find something new. So right now it's these, but it's always I'm chocolate. excited to try them. Swedish chocolate balls. Are those the ones with like coconut? Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. I've seen them, but I don't think we've ever made them. So. Yeah. Maybe those for our next three. video, we should make the yeah. chocolate balls. Okay, it's ready. Oh, look at that. So now we're gonna take a tray and some, what do you, what do you call this in English? Pa is it parchment paper? Parchment, parchment paper, paper, yeah. And we can add a little more salt to it, actually. And then we got our roasted, half chopped mm -hmm. hazelnuts. It's really annoying when it, if it's not thick, it, thick exact enough. right consistency. Another two minutes. Yeah, it needs to become really hard or? Yeah, like a little harder. Yeah, well in the meantime, I'm just gonna like snack on these kind of nuts. How old were you when you started cooking and baking? Well, I started more with baking as a kid. I think I was baking like every single day with like friends really? and like girlfriends. I just like really loved baking. And then kind of like when I first got into like modeling, whatever, I it was always, that's where I really got into cooking because obviously we had to like eat healthy. And I was like, okay, can't really eat healthy at most of the restaurants then. So I just like started to cook more, but what about you? Kind of the same. I started cooking when I was really young with my mom. And then when I started modeling, and had to eat healthy, that's when I was like, okay, well, I wanna make things that taste good that are still healthy. And usually if you, I went to a restaurant, it wouldn't taste very good. It wouldn't taste as good, yeah. Especially when you have like the clean, uh, you know, like salads and things like that, so. Yeah. Okay, I feel like we're, I feel like they're ready. So we're gonna pour it. Okay, watch your fingers. Yeah. That's it, and then a little bit of salt on top. So we're gonna take our hazelnut caramels and put them in the freezer until it's hard and cold. It smells really, really amazing here. The caramel, hazelnuts, mm. love it. 
So we just took the caramels out of the freezer and uh, now we're gonna chop them up a little bit. So this is different than like the caramel I know where it's kind of like really hardens in that sense. It's so like caramel toffee. Exactly. There we go. Now we'll just put them back in the freezer. I like to keep them in the freezer all the time gotcha. and then take one out to eat it because it tastes better, they're colder and like the consistency gets better. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'm excited so, to try it. There we go. Your hazelnut caramels are ready. Try making them and let me know how it goes and let me know what other recipes you want to see me and Sana doing. And also you should head over to Sana's channel because we just did a carrot cake bread. Carrot cake bread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> carrot cake <laughs> bread that was included. really delicious. And now let's try these. No. So have a piece. What do you guys want to see? I love discovering more chewy. Mm. I really like them. It's really, really good. And this is literally from someone who doesn't love caramel. Oh, you don't? Like, I don't love like caramel toffees and stuff, but this is really delicious. Mm. With a cup of espresso or something as well. Mm. It's really good. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoy the caramels as much as we do. And see you soon. See you soon. Bye.